Greetings, family. Greetings to every one of us. Hope you are doing great today. Yeah, this is another wonderful, blessed, glorious day. Abbe Yehovah Aloahim has ushered us, you and I, into for a reason. So, family, let us make good use of that reason. And what could that be? To circle around him, discuss his mind, establish his judgment, let the wicked know that they are doing evil, and let them know this what follows evil acts, okay? Any evil doer, let them know their end. And the one that also do good, let them also know this is what Abbe Yehovah has to say about your good works and exhort them. And this is the word, the book, the very mind of Abbe Yehovah. Study the Bible, you are studying the mind of Abbe Yehovah. Okay, and in this very book or word of Abbe Yehovah, they will get it all. Every governing system here on earth you find in the royal law to tear down is over there, to build up is over there, to love is over there, and to hate is over there. All right, to rebuke is also over there, to judge. Is also over there. Blessing is there. Cursing is there. Life is there. Is there, excuse me, and death is also there. Whatever, whatever, whatever is being found in the very royal law. Okay, that is the mind of Abbe Yehovah. So let's, let us, uh, let us make good use of this wonderful blessed day he brought you and I into. And that is the only reason okay you shouldn't mix it the reason why you say today not to do evil but to do good not to live for yourself but to live for Yehovah. not to propagate yourself but propagate the one who gave you life the breath okay of life the very oxygen that carry you here, here and there mm? so let's do it together formally so with this be said here we are in the heavenly cut room of other Yehovah. With this powerful message titled for you and me, Lola Gladys, Africa Jama First JZB Lady, and co celebrating Ashawo Iyuri over our dead husband. That's it. And one of post scriptures to validate this very title. Like I always love to say, it's not by sensation, emotional radiation, barely perceived, no, not at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But by the, by the royal law objective, we want to do this expose again. Like I said, if you want to, you know, exhort, you know, uh, praise somebody, we also come here. But if you want to tear them down, we also come here. Mm? So is it good for someone to be celebrate, uh, celebrating a husband dead life insurance? Is I've never seen that. I even put it on Google. I don't care. Your is guilt. She's guilt. I put it on Google. When I saw her, that was uh, 12 days. I saw that on the Shabbat, who you call Saturday. A lady sent it to me. Okay. There are a few people that follows me. They know when I want to talk to this bastard, Yuri. I don't. Uh, of course, I'm different. So when I don't see that, I go through what the Bible has to say. Because every other one is a nickel and nonsense, nonsense stupidity. But when she not came, there about three of them like that. One, uh, Two women. And one brother, the one the brother started it first, brother Saro. If you follow me or a constant follower, you keep hearing me talking about this brother. He lives in the US, he's the one. And afterwards, another two sisters now also come in contact with this message. They are all those, okay. So this very Saturday, the lady also said, They said, My sister, come again and see. When I listened to it, I said, Okay, I will prepare a time for that very video. I, I keep it, okay. No, and I put it on the Google. I said I talk and the Yuri is content. You are not saying that you are blind and you are saying your condolence no let the Gladys Bell Deceiver Witchcraft. Anyway, I may want to now witchcraft. These are all group of witches and wizard. These are witchcraft family coming in different angle and different denomination. Now I put it on the Google. Husbands. Is it right for a wife celebrating her husband's death life insurance? I could say not even one, not in the white community, nor in the black community. When I put it on the Google, not even one. 
trace the fact that someone was celebrating her husband that has her dead husband life is short. not even one everything i could see over there they not refer me to wives that is killing their husband for this life insurance so if you want to do that topic i promise the sister would do it that is the video i'm gonna be playing that is all i can you know found about women that is killing their husband like this one because i always like i always love you know practical after police say a woman like and this her one secret lover conspired to kill her husband just so that they could cash in on his million dollar life insurance Is, policy that's it now that, people who donated she did. to a campaign to help the woman they thought was a grieving mom are demanding their money back 11 lies faith of boobay she when did i find out that she was the one who and, killed and more than our husband and that's right, and uh, we reached out to GoFundMe. And the people that contributed, they are all requiring or requesting for their money telling back. Telling us that GoFundMe has removed that page, which raised more than five thousand dollars, or actually almost five thousand dollars, for Tia Young and her children. And tonight, everyone who donated can request for their money to be refunded. Right now, neighbors reacting to the woman's arrest. It's tough. It's tough. Who could forget a grieving wife? Flanked by yes, her sir. emotionally overwhelmed children. <laughs> you see her pretense? This is a awesome husband. A security guard killed on his front porch after a long day of work Did on you just get all in the name of money? At least twice since the murder, Tia Young spoke with 11 Alive. Alright, I feel I'm gonna be hanging it over here. Come forward and face justice you see, you see pretense? Her innocent husband. Everybody loved George. But you did it. Crime, you killed your husband. Or in the name of life assurance policy, Harvey a million dollar policy. Now accused of killing the father of three. Investigators say the two were having an affair in the home Young shared with her husband. Just look at the husband she murdered. To cash in on his one million dollar insurance policy. <laughs> okay, so this is what is Iori is instigating. Now these are teachings now. So when the lady sent it to me, okay, quickly I just listen. I said, "Oh my God!" But she's dancing, she's rejoicing, she's saying, "Hey, how about this? How about the dad? Only twelve days you lost your husband. So what is that offense? Like I said, the word of Abayo is to rebuke, is to tear you down and to build you. If you want to be built, we will build you. But if you are doing something contrary and guess it, is to tear you down and declare destruction on you." So when I put it, why celebrity uh, their husband dead because of life uh, insurance? I couldn't find not anyone, not in the white community, nor in the black community. The only way they refer me to, you know, the one that is similar, how wives is killing their husband for life insurance poli pol uh, pol uh, policy. Okay, now this black woman, her husband was having a million dollar. That was. His life insurance. Uh, now this is what Iyori is now instigating, teaching that our women, uh, that, that the, the, uh, the, the men should be, you know, uh, do life insurance. He helped the woman when the man died. He also helped the children when the man died. Okay. So now she's teaching, and she's also teaching our girls that uh, when you find a white old man, when you know that there is food over there, <laughs> I said remain there. Remedy, if you know there is food over there, don't care about what anybody is going to be. They said, she now said, I, uh, uh, let me my man. I think I'm going to be playing that video. Okay, when I do message titled direct to her. But this one, the people that is celebrating her, those are the one who want to first of all lay hammer on their heads because these are witches, well, wizard people, these are witches, you know, witchcraft family, these are no normal people. A normal psychological human being, you you, you dare not. Even though when this woman is being killed, we also we still see pretense, but they follow her, they followed her, they followed her. At the end of it, they now say that she was the one who even murdered her husband, all in the name of life insurance. Now, Gladys, Mufnia, we led your condolence. So someone that is rejoicing over her dead husband or in the name of the properties and the life insurance you celebrate her that is why this woman never cried one day yuri that is why she never shed no tears yeah what are you doing oh why you made the 
So you see that already. Now let's get started into our message. Let's go into what we are here for today. I quickly want to brief that because the woman she sent me that video, I said Ijori is good at all can't. Ijori claimed worship. Ijori pronounced forgiveness. Ijori received service. They will be telling her, yeah, God will say, do for me. She will claim that. And this is the seed that belongs to only Messiah. Ijori pervert the works of the cross. Ijori became a stubby block to the works of the Ruach HaKodesh. The Ruach HaKodesh is the one that does one. It's the miracle working one. Yahushua, the biblical Messiah, is not the miracle working one. But rather, is the Holy Spirit. You can see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. You see all my uh, 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 gift over there. He is the one to dis dis he is the one distributing it, uh, distributing it unto the believer because that is his office. He was even the one that raised the Messiah from the grave. He said, He that spirit of him that raised him from the grave dwells in you. He's also gonna do that too. He's gonna vitalize your mortal body, he's gonna quicken your immortal body, okay. Because he is the one doing is the power of conception. This is his office. We see in Adam Apostle chapter 1, verses 8, Messiah said, Don't go, wait in Yerushalayim until the power come unto you. He said, Not many days from now, you're going to be receiving power. He is the power of wonders. And we see that in Adam Apostle chapter 2, when he came upon them like a fire, like a wind. Oh, now all the apostles did radical movement of salvation. Then they now begin to display the power. Of heaven with all kinds of signs and wonders. Yes, it is the job of the Holy Spirit. And you said now in our platform is not so easy so with her. Only dead people, idia, because idia, idem, and immortal. That is what these people is seeing in their vision. These three dead women, that's whom they saw. They always come to testify how idia is pulling snake from their vagina and how idia is pulling a rat from their penis. That is all we hear. That, sh that is the work of the Holy Spirit. Ijori, this is the strongest blasphemy. Ijori is a blasphemer. She is guilt at all kinds. And Ijori is also guilt of a sin of premeditated murder. Because that is what she is teaching now. That uh, even though the man is old, women should be murder. Just remain. They say, if you know there is a food there, be dead. Don't mind what people is going to be calling you. Just remain there. So what, what, to do what? Remain there until the white man died in order for you to lay hold of that life insurance. You are guilty at all. You're on no way out. Now, you alone, or bar of Edo place to console you. The entire Edo place to console you. When they were placing this course on you, they goes to Oba Palace for you to know that Oba himself was the one who gave them go ahead and do it. They put in the coffee. Is that a norm? Is that a human being that is needed in a door? No. Whoop my mind. Who we here, woman? No, you are guilt at all kinds. Only twelve days your husband died. You not came to be dancing over the life insurance when you find that you're, this is your is a pure liar. You said in the other video before you came out with your nonsense uh, rejoicing because you are dancing the dance of destruction. You said that here uh, you never knew that uh, the money, uh, you never knew this one is also dead. You said you never knew this one is also dead. Therefore, why did you say in your first video, stay the same week, that was on Sunday, the same week your husband died. That was, should be Sunday last, not this yesterday or the other one. Why did you come out and say, no, but who is going to, the person that is going to, yeah, it's, it's last week, excuse me. The only one that is going to envy you for the life assurance, give it unto you. I hope I, I download all those videos. But yet, you came out to lie and say, you never know this money is there. Where were you waiting? You were waiting. Of course, you knew there was life assurance. Rather, you should have been saying, you never knew the money is going to be huge like that because it's big. Anyway, I'm not for you here today. Time is also going. Okay. But what am I saying? You know, I don't have this proverb that says, We also have it in the Bible, like I said. Yes, in the case of Hema, I don't, uh, that is a... Uh, Adasa, whom you call Esther chapter uh, 3 and 4 and 5. No, rather, let's take it from 5 to 6 and 7. When Abeyuwa want to destroy Ahem, Ema, the Agagites, what happened? We first of all give him food to eat. Come and eat. You will eat. In chapter 5, we gave Ema, our enemy, food. 
Queen Adassa and uh, her husband, the king, Ahasuerus, have a dinner with him. Come over, that is chapter 5. Come up. We have a dinner prepared for you. Come and eat first before you will be hanged on the gallow. Okay? He went that day and ate food. When he came out from the palace, he now began to make noise. He now began to rant. He now began to disturb our ears. You see now, I'm the most powerful in the kingdom of Ahasuerus. You see, I alone, he invited to come and have a dinner. Father, the queen was the one who prepared the dinner herself. And then I invited me and to come and eat with them. Oh, now this is how powerful I have become in this kingdom. The queen has said, I'm not yet done with you. Tomorrow, also come over and eat food. He also came again. After you have so done at the second food, then we'll pass our judgment. Right away was hanged in chapter 6. After you have had the second food, in chapter 7, all his 10 children was hanged. Why did Abba Yehua turn that family into Sodom and Gomorrah? Not to be remembered. Because we don't want the legacy of Emma to continue on earth. They are evil roots. They are bad roots. That, is, that was why all his ten sons will be rooted out of this earth. In like manner, that is the judgment of Iori. Boom. No, we don't want your legacy. You're gonna no, you can't drop your chromosome in the do nor your egg. Uh-uh. That is why do IVF one, one million times. All your money will finish on IVF. They will all come down. Eyaoa. Do a surrogation or surrogate. That is, you will cause somebody to help you to carry your egg. It will also melt away because we don't want that evil root at all in a door. You are cursed at all kinds. You are cursed. The king of heaven has cursed you. And the king of heaven also cursed you. What else do you want? And that is the person this bastard is celebrating with. You are indeed hypocrite. This one is talking about, no, this is a lady. You say this is who you are, a lady, unclean. Your condolence to a uh, someone that is celebrating a husband death. Oh no. You could even oh no. Anyway, let's drop that for now. I quickly want to add that. When I saw that it was also some kind of disturbance, I said okay. Because she's still doing all this to convince the eight percent people of the book under her. So we're also doing this to refute her in losing the only eight percent people of the book under a demonic voice. You are guilt at all counts. You are guilt. There's no way out for you. Hmm? We give you food already. Two times food. We give you houses. And we also give you. Because you said you both have two houses. Fine. And we also give you now life insurance. Now you have taken it. Now it's judgment. It is the judgment of Emma. Mark it. Now, Ella the Doris. Moki and Snake. Africa Jamba First Jezebel Delilah Lady. And a, a lolo, a snake, that one is the worst, in fact. I don't know. They are all, they all carry wicked spirit. Uh. They all carry legions of demons. They all carry uh, high ranking devils that fear from glory. Okay? Uh, the, the one that she call herself, I know I just say, uh, lolo. Uh, we just, you know, all this nonsense. I go and lolo. I don't know where, oh my. But anyway, your kingdom is found in the bottomless pit, no problem. And the other one, what, what, what is the other one's name? Okay, all three and cool. The other one said it's called easy life. No, you are a bad, difficult life. Because I put you all for here. You are a bad, difficult life. So right now, let us put in the word of Abbe Yehua. Let us see the judgment behind that. You hypocrites. Listen to Ecclesiastic chapter 3 verses 4. A time to weep. And a time to laugh. A time to mourn. And a time to dance. You Jezebel, um, uh, what they call her, Gladys, a lady. And uh, your co, your friends. What time is Iori? Prior to what you, your condolence. That is your judgment. Because you knew she should have been mourning. That was why you say your condolence unto her. Because it was a time of mourning. It should have been a time of crying, weeping, and mourning. Yuri said, with her, is it so? It was the order we rent. A time of money. Yuri now said, no, it is not. It is time of dancing. Look at her, she's dancing. Still the same week her husband died. This is the dead corpse of her husband. A time of weeping. She now says, it's a time to laugh. You see how she's laughing. And you thought she was mourning. That was why you said, your condolence. Because you know, this is a time to mourn. But Yuri said, it's not so. 
right now i want to first of all I want, I want, this is the old testament we also want to pick some part in the new testament that is the word of you what is to judge hmm? we we'll also put that a little bit if there is time hmm? since the elder gladys could you know do what the bible says you are saying, she will say god give her anointing a fasting a no no a this side a that side pork you are a let the way you we are you're talking about anointing. what anointing what is anointing you are talking about the holy spirit because the holy spirit is the anointing you you got that oh we are well why are well i'm coming to place the course on you people yes let's get that from the new testament now we found that already in the old let us do let us let us let us do the new testament counting romans chapter 12 verses 15 rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that do weep come on now you were weeping with iuri but the iuri is dancing see she said she said the same week her husband died but this good she said she bought it fifteen thousand. She bought this and she bought that. Uh, uh, is she weeping? No. She is rejoicing. But you saw her. This is the snake lolo. Your condolence to Ash Ijuri. Ash sought a water ministry. Waya de Varwa. Godi family. No, you are Fisi's family. The Godi destructive family. Mm -hmm. Because you are all evil. So you suppose her to be in a very grieving moment. That was why you were sharing your condolence. But you couldn't judge from the, what you saw. You couldn't judge from her appearance, her body language. Even right in the graveyard, she now began to kiss. Right in the burial ground, she was romantic. Right in the burial ground, she proved that she is not grieving. Right in burial ground, she even raised her husband's death certificate and said, whatever, whatever, I'm going to be regulated from now. I have it already. I'm going to keep this file very well because this is my proof. It's also in the computer. It's in the whole world now. The whole world knows that Michelle is already dead. This man was just displaying witchcraft. You couldn't read that from our body language uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and a and and confession. You, you share your condolence. Now, all you three, because it's for you. Lolo, snake Lolo. What did you already do to that white man? If you don't do it to your husband, the hottest place in the link of her shall be your portion in Yahweh's mighty name. And woman will do it to your children in the mighty name of Yahweh. Glad is a lady who also married to an Italian man. What did you do to that white man? If you don't do that to your own husband, <laughs> the hottest place in the link of her is going to be your portion. And woman is also going to do, it, do this to your children in Yahweh's mighty name. Africa Jama first Jezebel Delilah lady. What did you already do to her husband? If you don't do it to your own husband, when you die, the hottest place in the link of fire shall be your portion. And woman is also going to do it to your sons in the mighty name of Yehovah. That is the cause I place upon you all. Celebrating wickedness. Why celebrating what you cannot do to others? So that is your cause. And again, this one called himself. I don't know whether he's a man or a woman. He said he's a uh, is it life TV. No, I declare difficult life TV for you in your wife's mighty name. Well, if you are a man, if you can't do that to your wife, therefore, when you die, the hottest place in the lake of fire shall be your portion. And another woman or man is also going to do it to your children. Because you are rejoicing with whom you are. You said you are weeping, or yeah, that is the meaning of your feelings. You feel happy. Meanwhile, the woman is just celebrating. Look at Casey, right at the berry ground. She carried her boyfriend there to also help her to bury her husband. And you said that one is weeping. And you share your condolence. No, why are you wound? The mighty name of Yehua bringing bad names. No, bad testimony to the adults. No, why are you in the mighty name of Yehua? All right, now. So let's see, check out now what Abiyua has to say about this wickedness. You just displayed that. You display wicked, wickedness publicly. You rejoice with the wicked. You help the wicked to prosper in their wickedness. You couldn't see anything wrong with what this Jezebel Yuri has done. Rather, you're not beginning to share your condolences. Now, when you judge the video in the bear, if I before, only one day Yuri, you know, keep her mouth short, uh, short. Just one day she kept it short. That, will, that is on the uh, September 22nd. Her husband died. In the ninth, September twenty-first, 
on the 22nd, they didn't hear nothing from her. But the 23rd, she now began to stop. I'm not what they get yes, we get no get you, send this out. I don't know how she put that that wordless nonsense satanic music. She now begin to speak in riddle. If you don't want her to enjoy her labor, you're gonna pack out of this earth. Rather, you are the one to live now because we give you twice food already. Emma, that is who you are. You must be wiped out. You must be broken into pieces in your in the mighty name of Yehovah. The reason why this harsh course is a rebuke is coming for you guys is because you are talking about Bible. If you were you were all pagan, completely display Olokumi Sango, I wonder that my rather should I be praying for you guys. I should I be saying Abba have mercy because they don't know what they are doing. But this one is it so. People is talking about spirituality, God, Bible, heaven, fasting, anointing. Eh? No, you are you are you you are you are bringing shame and disgrace to our book. And we are like that. We're going to be refuting you all one by one, all right, for others to also know that you are, you, you are deceivers. We will not all just shut up or silent, no. Oh, where am, where am I? I should have been in Zechariah. We are going to Zechariah chapter 7, verses 9. Blessing, I want to do some reading over here. Thus, uh, thus speaketh Yahuwah of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment. And show no mercy and compassion every matter of his what neighbor. When somebody do bad, whether that person is your brother, neighbor, whatever, he said, don't show no compassion when you are doing your judgment. That true judgment, where is the, that true judgment coming from? Right in the book you carry. Gladys, how are you going to be proclaiming right or true judgment? Why are you going to be executing it? As you saw that you said, not this is an abomination. Now, this is evil. You will rebuke her sharply. Whether she was once your love or once your hate, you don't care. You just do it according. That is why you. That is where you execute, uh, you know, uh, execute through judgment. But you failed. So that now is going to turn the other way around against you. You're going to be swept away with Iyuri. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm doing it against you and against Iyuri. Yeah, what's my team? All right, we'll put some more. That same chapter against Zechariah, chapter 8, verses 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye, every man, the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. Your gates simply mean your community. Okay? Wherever, whenever, whenever, okay, someone is acting, you know, out of control. Like in your what she did in the sanity judgment, in the sound judgment. Since you fail to do that, I'm executing that judgment upon you all. In the mighty name of Yehovah, that is will be the judgment of Emma. Emma was being cut off, and every seed of him was being destroyed along with him. Why? Because we don't want evil roots anymore. We don't want evil tree anymore to keep bearing fruits and having branches. No, that was why Emma. The tree and every branches of his children we are being rooted and shattered and set ablaze because we don't want that evil genealogy in the door anymore. And the same I declare for all of you you are sharing from the wickedness, you are sharing from the causes of Yuri. Yes, in the mighty name of Yahuwah. Let's do some more. Leviticus 90, verses 15. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Who is thy neighbor? He said, love yourself as you love your neighbor. That is the second commandment. How are you going to be loving yourself as you love your neighbor? You don't want to go to her. Therefore, you don't want your neighbors to go to her. What are, what you are doing to keep yourself from that ways of domination? Also, reveal it to your neighbor, teach it to your neighbor, and say, "Come over here, my brother, my sister. This is the way um, I, I'm living my life that is going to lead me back to heaven." Please, I also want you to be a part of it, because I don't want to destroy, and I wouldn't like you to also destroy because I love myself and I extend that kind of love up to you. Deep down, these people's heart, they know you have done wickedly, but no one wants to rebuke her. Rather, they begin to cover up for her. In the mighty name of Yehovah. 
Ogun is our way. I da in the mighty name of you. Don't tell me we don't sow it. That is what I keep saying. Our book is full of blessing. If you do good, and causes if you do bad. Don't 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 tell me that nonsense. Okay, I know what I'm doing and I know who I am. Hmm. <laughs> what me? So now I say you should show no favorism to the poor. Like that, okay. Okay, was to the poor. Now, if you always show favorism, and all of you that is coming out to defend and to rebuke a dem a demophy, you are showing favorism because you couldn't give sound doctrine. And okay, know that if he don't lie, nobody is going to help him. But you should have dig into the matter as someone that come to repair that came to repair a door. Are you going to be helping the liars, you know, to cover their nonsense, in order for you to help? No. A sound doctrine still needs to be, a sound judgment still needs to be given. For, first of all, they might put you in the baking, uh, uh, yes, and make you the general overseer of them all because of your situation. Why should a man like that not sack you if you didn't do anything bad? Of course, they say you were a thief and you were stealing the money and the money was not complete. That was, of course, no one will retain a thief. When you are doing business, a thief needs to be cut off. You can't put him there. Or else it will rain that, that it will just rain that company. And that is what that okay did, that cripple man did. He said it was also they were paying him only ten thousand. I will tell you. And you say you were using two thousand for the transport. That is a pure lie. How did you cry? He said that they didn't also give him a wheelchair. That is total nonsense. How now did you go to take transport to go to work? He now said he was crying on the ground. That is pure lie. He was just saying all these things, you know, in order for you to favor him. And if you're in a favor, a cripple, that is the point. You should it. You should have dig into it and know what chase him out of that place and say, my brother, I know you are guilty of what they accuse you of. Dig into it. We will still help you. But just say the truth and stop lying. If you don't say the truth, no help here for, for you. And she began to, you know, she always carried the picture of dead people and say, come and sweat this and come and sweat that. People believe it that. Have you not seen people that, in fact, still, still, they will still sweat. If I did it, that, 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 they will still sweat. Only to cover up, for, 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 cover, cover up their shame. Okay? Only to, that, that, just to cover up. So you show favorism to the poor. If I, at all, can the Yuri is cute? I'm not against you. If Yuri just come out and be using a platform, you are not the one bringing out the money. It's people donating. I don't know the noise these people is making on someone's ears. Okay, if you bring out a platform like that to be happy the poor, it should have be better for you. That should have, maybe that is your calling, but you shift, you deviated into sort of water and blasphemy the cross. And blasphemy the, the works of the cross. Even when I finish with Yuri. In the mighty name of Yahweh, you can't get around that one. Uh -uh. You are not coming out. No, no. You are, not, you are already in. As a woman that filled with the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Haku, the Deceptor's past spirit of Abba Yehovah. When I looked that, into that video, I said, this should have been Yuri calling. Use your platform to help the poor. You, you know he was lying. You knew it too well. I knew too well that that crippled man was lying. It's just like that lies, you know, to get what he wanted. He would need the help. But you can still help him. But let him know that to be lying and to destroy others is bad. Okay? That should have been your calling. But it's like you deviated into sort of water to blaspheme. That the Almighty Yehovah, if I will not, who will oh, get done with us soon? <laughs> no way out. And the mighty, okay, that is the rich people. When someone is rich now, it's also come to you will pervert the judgment because it's rich. Oh, hey, I don't want this one to do this. Yes, that is what that scripture means. Let's put some more. So what I'm doing, whether you are mighty or you are poor, you are under condemnation in the mighty name of Yehovah. Yuri, Gladys, Elede, uh, Lolo, the great wizard, and the bad, difficult life that called himself Easy Life TV. No, you are bad, difficult life TV mm, in the mighty name of Yehovah. And the uh, Africa Jama first Jezebel the Lightning Lady Moki Elede. No, that one is Moki and the uh, Snake and together. In the mighty name of Yehovah. And they are cold. The one I couldn't find their video. I saw someone useless Rita talking on nonsense. Sherry a uh, condolence unto the to the Jezebel. You are so under that course. Anyone that participate in it, no way around it. Uwaya boagbelu waya.
in the mighty name of you. All of you will share from her punishment. Now, for you not to be saying Jesus nailed his head to the cross and say that is the Old Testament. Now, let's take some account also from the New Testament because that is the spare of your Jesus. You know, I'm not a Christian. Never will I be. I was once there. Everything this group do is just paganism, pure paganism, whatever, whatever they are doing, you can't find in the royal law. That was why I quit and I returned back to the real thing of my Abba. So, Jesus has already cast spare upon you all. And you see what this evil Jesus is doing in the whole world. You see it. Like I say, I keep saying in the letter, Jada, I'll give you Jesus. He isn't yet 400 years old. And our book was written about 2,000 years ago. So what name was there? And the real name, they remove it. And then I insert pork in it. The real name is Yahushua Hamashiach. It's an Hebrew, man. It's not English, man. The letter J that gave you Jesus he isn't yet 400 years old. The whole world knows about that. The first English translation done in the year 1611 by King James. God, there no Jesus over there. So don't tell me Jesus destroyed his head. Because if your people want to see, Christians, they want to see, they go to our book, the Old Testament, they will reap their destruction over there. If you ask them to keep the actual, they will say they will not keep it because Jesus destroyed his head. And the biblical Messiah said, think not that I've come to do that until all is fulfilled. What was the stipulation? Until the heavy and the earth is no more. That is Matthew 5, 70 to 20. Until you don't see the first heaven and the first earth, the royal lost the cat. Why, bell? I won't turn it, baby. Listen now, we want to do the New Testament on. John, 40, uh, John 7, 24. Judge not according to someone's appearance. Because you're going to be judging. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Did you get that? So don't tell me Jesus destroyed his head. We still found it in the old. We also found it in the new. The righteous needs to speak about whatever, whatever that is bad. Someone is doing, you have the right to execute judgment. If you are not also doing it, if you are doing it, you are also cursing yourself. Yes, you are also cursing yourself. If you are not doing it, and you have the right to execute. That is the mind of Abbey Yehwa. That is what the royal law is in a nutshell. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 2 to 4. You can take it from 1. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? I am the saints, okay? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? 3. Know ye not that we will judge angels? How much more things that are pertinent to this word? Now, let me clarify that. What angels are you going to be judging? He's speaking of the folly angels. You can't judge a righteous angel. Uh -uh. Go and check it out. Everyone that saw angel of Yehua, the righteous angel, they'll fall down. Their feet. They will just die. They'll collapse. Is that what you want to judge? So which angel you want to judge? The demon that masquerade himself as what? Angel of light. Jesus is number one of them all. Okay. And all this demon, all this gladys, I know, I know I just said, and all the Ako, Jama, Africa, first Delilah, Jezebel. All these are the demons that resident inside of them, making them to be misbehaved. Ijoro is the Bidi. Ijoro is the Ogotogo. Ijoro is the Oso. Ijoro is the most devilish one. So now that I'm speaking, I'm judging that devil that resident in her. So the, the folly angels is the one who wants to, uh, he, the word of Abayiwa asks us to judge. That was why he said, I think in uh, Isaiah 54 verses 17, No weapon for me against me prosper. Every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I destroy you. We are, that is how you judge. You, you sit ju judgment and you throw fire on them through the mighty name of Yehovah and they are destroyed. It's, those are the ones we judge, okay, not holy angels. I would always like to clarify there. You can't judge holy angel, but the folly ones. That is the one we are judging. The one that resident in the Yuri and all these wicked people. That is the one we are judging. Now, verses 4. If they ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the ministry. Now, you see, we judge. These people said they are one of us ministry. Gladys said, 
the, I don't know which God gave her anointing. I know that one is deceiving herself. All of them, they talk about Bible. All of them, all these people that quote Bible, no, I think I won't. Claim it to be one of us in the ministry. But he said, who would judge you? So you are being judged in the mighty name of Yehovah. Yes, that is what it is. I'm going to judge me to go or two because I'm running out of time. Job chapter 42, verses 7. And it was so that after Yehovah had spoken these words unto Job, Yehovah said unto Eliph Eliphaz, Eliphaz, okay, the term night, my wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends, for ye have not spoken where of me the things that is right as my servant Job heart. Okay, listen, what did they do? They claimed to be a believer and they came to Job. And they wanted to see the situation of Job. After they remained silent for a whole week, they could say a word. They not begin to say, Oh Job, you have done evil. You are seen there. That is why this destruction come upon you. And that is why Yahuwah is punishing you because Yahuwah cannot punish the righteous people like this. It is your wickedness. They not begin to ask sorrow to his sorrow. Then about you, what did he do? He inflicted them with sickness. He passed judgment on them. Why did he do that? Say you did not speak well of me. When you come to Job, you couldn't speak my mind. You couldn't establish my mind. Rather, you were not castigating. So what is this in? Doris. What is her name? Gladys Evil. You married to a white man. And you talk about Bible. And you see what is already done did to her husband. You have, I'm sorry. You already did to her husband. And you couldn't establish the mind of Abed. The word, the Bible you carry is the mind of Yehovah. You say you couldn't spoke well of me. No. Therefore, you now begin to share your condolence to a destructive animal called Iyori. Therefore, the disease Abed was cast or throw upon Job Three friends is coming to all you three, four, including the one I don't, I did, I doesn't know. In the mighty name of Yehovah, they were all sick right away. And Job is was the one that also stood, you know, and um, intercede for them. No, I'm not gonna start to intercede for you because you were never a believer in the first place. You only come to, to pervert our book, to deceive our people. Okay, this one said our foundation is what God. Together in God's family. I don't know what hell now. These people who are these you wicked animals. So that is the cause I place upon all you three. The one I see. I know all you three. Okay, so that is the cause is upon you. And it's irrevocable. In the mighty name of Abbey Until Abbey begins begin to use some of you to show example. But Eric is the one to die in a hundred percent. And we will see if Yuri will not mourn. <laughs> And what will see if Yore will not cry? <laughs> and what will see if Yore will not shut up? We don't want to kill him. We give him food to eat. We also see that attitude in Revelation 17, not 19. I think 19 verse 17. Say, I bet you want to prepare a banquet, a dinner for all the fowls of the earth. Come and eat. Who was the banquet? The body of Kati. Okay. The body of early kings, the civil rulers. After Abbey Yehoah has killed all of them, now call the force of the earth. Come on, eat. I have a dinner for you guys. They all really went and eat them off. Eat them up. So, we give you your food two times, like we did for that. The case of Emma, we first of all give him in chapter 5. He ate, now begin to make noise, now begin to run. And on chapter 6, we give him more. When he had the last one in chapter 7, no, in chapter 6 he was killed. Chapter 7, all his 10 sons go down the grave because we don't want that evil genealogy in the door. That is what I declare upon Iori in Yahuwah's might. Now, until that happens, you people is not going to fear Bible. King David, whom you call David, said it is very fearful to fall into the hands of Yehovah. It is very fearful to carry Bible and begin to misquote it. It makes judgment on you. Yes, it makes judgment. Say, don't add into it. And when you add, there is causes. If you also take out, there is Revelation, again, the very last book. Revelation 22, verses 18 to 19. Go and read this heavy course. 
we have it in the old we also have it in the new in fact for galatians chapter 1 verses 8 to 9 go and read it if you come with another thing say you are cursed yes it's cursing and blessing if you are well blessed if you do evil we curse you in the mighty name of Yehovah. So when I want to do the part of Iyori dancing over her husband, I'm going to be reading the scriptures, 1 Kings chapter 21, verses 17, verses 7 to 15. We see how Jezebel rejoiced over the property of death Naboth. Mm -hmm. He killed after Iyori killed this white man spiritually. Okay, and rejoicing over his property and life assurance physically. Only Jezebel displayed that wickedness. Okay, quickly I will put this. Yes, I need to put this. Isaiah chapter 5, verses 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter in the mighty name of Jehovah. What is woe? Destruction, sorrow, okay, lamentation, pains, destruction. That is what it means. Sorrow, woe in your house. All you that, you know, Share your condolence with your This is what I declare in your heart. Because you know that woman is evil. Evil Gladys called her once before Ogyomba. He said, Sophia, I will never use my mouth to measure that Ogyomba name, which was Iyori. And today you now share your condolence. You now even say prophetess. He is over him, man. You even call her prophetess. Of who? Prophetess of doom. That is prophetess Jezebel. So that is the only scroll we want to use. Because when Jezebel killed Naboth, lay hold on his property now begin to celebrate exactly what you see her celebrating so like this for calling evil good you are on that course and why just say for calling you know evil good you are on that course africa jama first delilah jezebel lady you are on that course because this is your sin you call evil good mm -hmm. look at that one that says she's representing africa women your africa jama what you represent all African women to the whole world. We are normal women. Very ugly thing. Moki. With dirty character. Nonsense. You represent. Oh, well, look at the jury that also says she is representing the whole women in the whole world. She says she is the queen of the whole world. How can that one be queen of the whole world? Before you can lay hold on his property. Thunder strike you. In the mighty name of Yehovah. So after Jezebel have done that, we see her judgment in Second Kings chapter nine, verses thirty to thirty-seven, and Revelation eight three to four. Abba Yehovah said, "Come out of her, my people. I speak to the eight percent. Come out of Yehovah, because you are the people of the book. In the mighty name of Yehovah, let your eye be open and your heart be reset and return back to your Maker, like I did. In the mighty name of Yehovah, come out of her." My people say so that you will not share from our punishment. Punishment is coming. Don't be a part of our punishment. Okay? Run out of our camp and do what the book says, the Bible, in Yehovah's mighty name. Thank you, Abba. Hallelujah.